Hello everyone, my name's King, and here's a fairly simple uh, tutorial on submarines, because they're actually possible, and it's kind of cool, although a bit weird, because water physics is wonky in this game. But since it would be a bit complicated to fine-tune everything and build a submarine on camera, I have one pre-built here. It's fairly simple, and as far as I can tell, it works. So the basic idea is to just make it very, very heavy. So I have these ore tanks here. That one's empty, and these two are full. And the general idea is to get the center of mass fairly balanced. I think it should be good, like it is right now. And so you're going to have to, because there's no way to launch it in the water, you're going to have to have some kind of rig to drive it or fly it into the water. So I'm not a big fan of wheels, I don't believe in them. I feel like they are just too bouncy and want to destroy the world. But I figured I'd make an exception for this craft, so I have just a simple getup of just wheels put on structure stuff and attach the submarine on top of that. The submarine itself has one main engine, which can swivel, and two, or rather one main engine that does not swivel, and two side engines that swivel, so it can actually maneuver and hopefully stay below the surface. I've also put a main capsule here with the secondary capsule up here, the ore tanks, some fuel, and extra fuel, and air brakes. I also have a solar panel and communication thing. All you really need is the solar panel, air brakes, wheels, and some way to make it go down and make it heavy. So it doesn't have to look exactly like this. It can look however you want as long as, you know, it works. So that's that. Now we just gotta launch it. And launching it is going to be pretty painstaking to do because you have to take it to the body of water you want it to be a submarine on. So for this, I'm just gonna go over there. So, because this is actually very top-heavy, I'm going to turn on SAS and ac actually activates the solar panel to constantly replenish the electric charge for the um, stability assist. I'm not actually going to be using the rover wheels to, like, push it forward. I'm going to use the engine for that. So I'm just going to put it at the smallest amount of thrust possible to get this thing moving. I'm also going to t actually turn on the air brakes to keep this from moving too fast. Because too fast and it'll tip over or explode. I'm not sure why. I mean, it probably is perfectly fine when you are um, going straight to have it at a higher speed, but I don't trust myself to have that luxury. So I'm just gonna have to be careful in keeping it stable and not going too fast. As you can see at higher speeds, the stability assist actually turns a bit quicker, which also kind of makes it want to tip over a bit more as well. So that's kind of dangerous. You just have to monitor it to make sure you're not going too fast or too slow. So you just have to keep at a consistent speed that is actually a fairly slow, just so you make sure it doesn't tip over or go out of control. And this is the boring part. Now, we just have to wait until we hit the water. So I'm gonna speed up the footage here, and then I'll be back once we get closer to the coast.
Okay, so we are actually getting fairly close to the coast now. So, I'm going to turn off this for now, speed up a tiny bit, and then turn off the engine. This way we are just going to be rolling down to the coast. See, we're passing the end of the runway now. And now we just gotta be mindful of our speed. So I'm actually going to turn this back on, lead off as much speed as we can. Seems like the 16 meters per second is as fast as we're gonna get. Nope, never mind, we're going a bit faster now that it's getting down the incline. But hopefully it's not fast enough for us to explode. Yeah, pull up as much as I can. There we go. The antenna broke, but that's fine. We didn't need that. So, I'm going to disconnect the wheels, and they sink to the bottom. And now, I do believe this is all fine. All that's left is to close this, power up a bit, And then we dive! And as you can see, this thing's actually fairly unbalanced. So we are actually rising back up to the surface. Now I push down a bit more. I'm going to see if I can jettison some of the tank. And as you can see, now we're flying. And we're going to actually bounce out of the surface because this sucks. And now we are flying because this thing is all kinds of stable. And now we are about to fall to our death. And that is how you make a submarine. I accidentally cut that, that's going to be complicated. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching everyone. And remember, the key to making a submarine is to make it balanced. That way it doesn't force itself down and then can't move, but also it doesn't force itself up and you can't go down. You kinda have to find the balance to keep it straight and then probably have some extra SAS modules so you can rotate in the water. Otherwise, feel free to explore with the design and tweak it and make it your own for all your heart's content. So, I've been King. If you like this video and want some more, uh, subscribe. I do Kerbal Space Oh. I do a Kerbal Space program video every or er, KSP tutorial every other week and it, a my modded Kerbal Space Program series every week. I'm not sure if you need to know that, but it's there if you want it. So, I'm just going to have fun being reckless with this crap, see just how fast and dangerous it can be, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.